Well, um, now the name of this video is called Wonderful Sarah. Now, apparently, the real AIX have pissed off somebody in the Sarah Palin camp. Now, you stupid motherfuckers. Now, let me explain something to you. I said this, and I repeat this. If I have been registered to vote in three different places, does that mean when I vote, I get three votes? That was my fucking question. I ain't said nothing else other than that. Now, if I moved to a different district or a different part of town or whatever, province and whatever some people call them, villages in different states, if I move to someplace else and I have to re-register to vote, and you know, I used to be registered to vote over there, when I vote, does it count as more than one fucking vote? That was the motherfucking question I asked. I didn't ask all this other bullshit. So now, somebody named Wonderful Sarah, I go to the website, they got one video. Sarah Palin and John McCain all over the motherfucking video. All over the page, too. And I'm a drunk asshole. I haven't had nothing to drink. I'm about to go get my paycheck. After this bullshit, I'm going to have me a drink. If I want one, I'm old enough. But maybe if Sarah Paleface was the president, she would make drinking illegal for people who can afford it. You think? Fuck Sarah Palin and John Prickstein. I don't give a damn about them Barack Obama and whoever the fuck he run away. I don't care about him either. I don't care about these people. I truly believe they are on the same team. You don't hear about the independents, do you? You don't see no debate with the independent in there, do you? What do you think the independent would have said to these two clowns before election day? Would have fucked them up. These two clowns, I mean, these four clowns. These four rich people, us poor people. Oh, oh John McCain and the Messiah Obama. Oh, oh. Fuck these guys. They don't give a fuck about you or me. Shit, they can buy your sorry ass. All that little Wonder Woman bullshit. Wonder Woman. Go look at the only fucking video. I'm going to tie this video to their video. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. You cannot do a video response to their video. Once again, it's somebody with a political agenda saying, I'm drunk. Now, understand what I'm saying. In what I said by asking, is that voter fraud, if somebody was registered in more than one place, I ask a simple question. And that goes both ways. That is if the Democrats are doing it, that's fucked up. If the Republicans are doing it, that's fucked up. You're not understanding the premise of my video. I wasn't glorifying some black person because this story was based on a black person saying she had registered so many times she forgot. And I was saying, if the lady registered a thousand times, does that mean when she goes in one voting booth and votes one time, does that count as a thousand votes? And if so, America itself should have a mechanism in place for bullshit like that. That's what I was saying. But you stupid ass Sarah Pell face motherfucker loving motherfuckers think I'm trying to be like, oh, that isn't voter fraud. Just another black person trying to get over. A friend of mine, a white man, sent me this video to watch. I commented because he expected my opinion. And I didn't expect this motherfucking shit from some goddamn Republican. I was making a point. If anything, I was favoring what the man was trying to show me. But you're going to tell me, you drunk asshole. That is what you call false perception. What if I was a Republican and I was trying to say, look at this, look at what these Democrats are doing. You know what you just made me do? You know what you just made me want to do? And I've said this in several different occasions that I was not going to vote for Barack Obama. My boss is like, I can't believe you say that to me. She's a beautiful person too. And she's right.
And then another friend of mine was like, I can't, I can't believe you said you wasn't going to vote for Obama. I'm not going to vote for Obama. And I'm not going to vote for Brick Stain either. I mean McCain. Or Pale Face. Or Biden. I ain't voting for none of these guys. Voting for Ron Paul. Sarah McKinney. We'll see, the average American thinks there's only two men running for president. The average woman don't know that there is a woman running for president. Right now, baby! No, wait a minute. She's a black woman. She don't count. We're only glorifying the black man this year. Maybe next time. Maybe she can run against uh, Condoleezza Rice or something. I don't I don't. But I know this. Do not. I, I don't like statements. It's just flat out say, Do not come at me with bullshit. Watch my video before you make a comment. And see, this this is what I like about perception. You see a white guy, you say, oh, this fucking John McCain. He's going to vote for John McCain. Just because the white guy is older, wears a suit, looks like John McCain, that does not necessarily mean he's going to vote for John McCain. Thus, with that same analogy, when you see a black man comment on something like voter fraud, don't think I'm saying, oh, you guys are just mad because Obama's winning. Don't fucking play me like that. Now, a friend of mine said, what is the lesser of two evils? And he pointed out, McCain gonna let rich people get a few breaks. And Obama's gonna let a few poor people get a few breaks. What's the lesser of two evils? The lesser of two evils is if somebody says, you know what, we're gonna give a real stimulus package. Every American of this age registered to vote, pays taxes, or what have you, will get BAM! Shitload of money. He's not going to take his money and send it out of sea, overseas. You're not going to give an American some money and he send it to Mexico. I'm, I'm going to go straight there, straight to Mexico. You're not going to send some Americans some money. He sent it to Africa, Venezuela, Cuba, none of that shit. It's not going to fucking happen in today's time. And, of course, you're not going to let the money leave the fucking country anyway. You know that. And people who are not Americans, who are not legal Americans, no matter what color they are, from where they're from, they don't get shit. How about that? How about you give every American a $500,000 credit? And every one of these American kids of the age 16 right now, you give them a $250,000 education credit that can be cashed in at any college for their education. Do some shit like that. That ain't got nothing to do with McCain and Pale Face or Joe Biden and Barack Obama or whatever they fucking call him now. That don't matter doesn't matter. If you, whichever one you guys get out there and say you're going to do this for the American people will become the president tomorrow morning. You don't have to worry about the fucking election. Do something for the fucking people. Oh, I'm going to pity pat around the whole situation and bullshit and make people think, feel good about themselves and then get to vote and fuck them. That's exactly what both of these motherfuckers are going to do. As far as I'm concerned, both candidates is going to fuck you. You just need to know which one's going to fuck it a little harder. That Who's going to hit you harder? They don't have no money to deal with. They've bailed out the banks. You know what happens when the shit hits the fan? It flies all over the room. Wonderful Sarah. Wonderful Sarah. Huh. I'm the real AIX.
You've been tubed.